Department of Homeland Security agents conducted the raids last week at Combs' multi-million dollar mansion in Los Angeles and his Miami waterfront home. The raids came as the producer faces a mounting list of civil lawsuits that allege abuse and sexual assault by multiple victims spanning over 30 years. According to USA.gov, the department's work includes customs, border, and immigration enforcement, emergency response to natural and man-made disasters, anti-terrorism work, and cybersecurity. The Department of Homeland Security's mission is broad and diverse and covers everything from counterterrorism to the nation's maritime and border security, from protection of our national leaders to coordinating the federal government's response to natural disasters. Some federal agents are deputized and can pull traffic in local areas and enforce local state laws. All federal law enforcement and conduct traffic stops for public safety concerns. Now not all federal officers shave the statutory authority to enforce state laws but could easily coordinate with local law enforcement. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, is the largest federal law enforcement agency with approximately 80,000 law enforcement officers that carry out the department's missions across nine different agencies and offices. According to News Nation, why was Diddy's house raided? While federal authorities have given sparse public comment as to what prompted the raids, News Nation affiliate WPIX reported that it was part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. She criminal investigators, also referred to as special agents, conduct criminal and civil investigations involving national security threats, terrorism, drug smuggling, child exploitation, human trafficking, illegal arms export, financial crimes, identity fraud, benefit fraud, commercial fraud and more. What is the jurisdiction of Homeland Security? Committee jurisdiction. Three functions of the Department of Homeland Security relating to the following. Border and port security, except immigration policy and non-border enforcement customs, except customs revenue integration, analysis, and dissemination of Homeland Security information. DHS is the largest federal law enforcement agency with approximately 80,000 officers across nine agencies and offices, U.S., Customs and Border Protection, CBP, CBP's priority mission is to keep terrorists and their weapons out of the United States. Homeland Security's raid of Diddy's house has some wondering why that would ever happen. Homeland Security is responsible for interior defense and could raid a home for a number of reasons. Homes owned by hip-hop mogul Diddy have been raided by federal agents according to reports. Following the news of these raids, many naturally wanted to better understand why those agents would be coming from the Department of Homeland Security. Diddy, whose real name is Sean Combs, is facing a wave of allegations and potential charges. Here's what we know about why Homeland Security raided his home, and why they conduct raids more generally. Homeland Security is the department of the federal government responsible for security inside the country, and it concerns itself with threats like terrorism and human trafficking. It could conduct raids for any reason related to these areas of work, as long as it was properly within their jurisdiction. The agents who conducted the raid on Combs properties did not specify their reasons for being there, however. The agents said that they executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from She Los Angeles, She Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. If the federal government is involved, it's because they suspect him or those around him of committing crimes that crossed state lines. According to a source familiar with the matter who spoke with NBC News, the searches are connected to allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. Although the exact crimes are unclear, the nature of the raid makes the charges that Combs is facing seem fairly serious. Ghislaine Maxwell was convicted on sex trafficking and other charges for conspiring to sexually exploit underage girls with Jeffrey Epstein. Homeland Security Investigations said in a statement that it had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from She Los Angeles, She Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Meanwhile, Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's longtime girlfriend and associate, was found guilty in 2021 of sex trafficking women and girls for Epstein to abuse and is serving a 20-year prison sentence. She has maintained her innocence and has appealed her conviction. Epstein was arrested in July 2019 on federal charges of trafficking minors for sex in Florida and New York between 2002 and 2005. He died in a Manhattan jail cell in an apparent suicide two months later. On Wednesday in response to the raid at Combs Homes, Rebecca Donaleski, a partner at Cooley LLP and a former federal prosecutor who supervised the successful prosecution of Epstein's girlfriend, Maxwell, gave her insight into the raid, adding that it was an aggressive step that signals there are cooperative victims. The fact that they are taking this aggressive step tells me they have cooperative victims and they're moving quickly to make a case, Donaleski told ABC News. 
A search, especially one that is this high profile, signals they have confidence they have strong evidence and the speed with which they have moved tells me the evidence is compelling. Donaleski continues to explain that the raids could help authorities uncover details that could corroborate the allegations. Any innocuous detail that you can corroborate that's what you're trying to do. Perpetrators keep mementos. They keep photos, videos, things like that, Donaleski added. However, in response to the raid, Combs attorney, Aaron Dyer, told Newsweek in a statement emailed on Tuesday, there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Don Aleski is not the first to talk about the raids as many celebrities have since spoken out about the rapper and the allegations he faces. Rapper 50 Cent was among them, as he mocked Combs on social media. The pair have been feuding since 2007, after 50 Cent suggested, without proof, that Combs was involved in the killing of hip-hop legend The Notorious Big. Now it's not Diddy Do It, it's Diddy Done, 50 Cent wrote on X, formerly Twitter. They don't come like that unless they got a case. Sean, Diddy, Combs draws Jeffrey Epstein comparison in wake of sex trafficking investigation. With federal investigators looking into Sean, Diddy, Combs in a sex trafficking investigation after multiple women and at least one man accused him of bad behavior, the hip-hop mogul is drawing comparisons to Jeffrey Epstein. Like Epstein, a financier who had his own private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands, Combs has been accused of luring victims with his luxurious lifestyle and, in some cases, assaulting them aboard a yacht he rented for trips to the Virgin Islands and St. Barthelemy. The lawsuit also alleges Combs had an aide who played a role similar to Ghislaine Maxwell's, Epstein's madam who is now a convicted trafficker. One name that is now more known due to this case is that of Christina Coram and in this article we learn more about her. Christina Coram is reportedly the chief of staff to Sean, Diddy, Combs at Combs Global. She is also known as KK. As you come on to the page, kindly hit the like bell if you haven't done so as yet thank you. She has been associated with Combs' management team since July 2013, starting as a senior executive liaison at his record label Bad Boy Entertainment. Later, she was promoted to day-to-day -day manager and also took on the role of director, office of the chairman, at Combs Enterprises. In 2021, Diddy outlined her importance to him as he shared a post on Facebook which read, Meet Christina Coram, chief of staff at Combs Enterprises. Christina aka KK keeps everything in my life and my business running. She's been my right hand for the last eight years and has consistently proven to execute and get SH asterisk T done. Don't know how I'd function without her. Coram holds a bachelor's degree in business and French from the North Carolina State University. She has previously worked at Burberry, Paramount Pictures, AOL and Gen Art. Coram appeared in the show, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. A Bad Boy Story, which is a 2017 look at the Combs organization. In recent allegations, Coram has been compared to Ghislaine Maxwell in AS Asterisk X trafficking lawsuit filed against Sean, Diddy, Combs. The Bad Boy of Entertainment is getting the key to the city from the Bad Boy of Politics, Mayor Eric Adams said as he presented a giant key to Combs in Times Square, according to Fox 5 New York. He escaped a lot because of who he was said Derek Parker, a former member of the NYPD's Rap Intelligence Unit who investigated the 1999 nightclub shooting that landed Combs and Jennifer Lopez in handcuffs. Now, a lot of stuff is just coming back to him. Just a few weeks ago, Combs, 54, was riding high, receiving the ceremonial key to New York City and celebrating the release of his first album in years on the same day. In 1991, Combs promoted a benefit event at the City College of New York that turned deadly when an altercation in the crowd led to a stampede of fans that crushed eight people to death. Karma, finally catching up to Diddy decades after fatal stampede at NYC game he promoted, says victim's brother. There was no way out. The haunted brother of a 20-year-old college student who died during a stampede at a Diddy back 1991 celebrity basketball game believes, Karma, is catching up to the embattled mogul. Jason Swain's sibling, Dirk, was one of nine people who were crushed to death after a crowd rushed to enter the oversold event inside a city college gymnasium. I believe in Karma, Swain, now 49, told The Post this week. He never really owned up to anything. He never told us he was sorry. Whatever is going on with him now, I guess it was meant to be. But me, I lost everything that day. I lost my big brother. I lost my best friend.
Diddy, 54, is under federal investigation over potential sex trafficking charges, and his houses in Miami and Los Angeles were raided last week by officers from Homeland Security looking to seize evidence. He has not been charged with any wrongdoing and has denied previous allegations of sexual misconduct leveled against him. Combs and girlfriend Jennifer Lopez were arrested in New York City in 1999 on weapons and bribery charges after an altercation with another man led to a gunfight at Club New York that injured three people. According to Rolling Stone, Club New York shooting, 1999, Allen got into an argument with Combs and someone threw money in Combs' face. Allen also threatened to kill Shine. Prosecutors allege that amid the fray, all three men drew guns, and Shine shot three times in the crowded club. Three people were shot. According to Forbes, Barrow was sentenced and served nearly nine years for his charges. As you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.